Okay. Two events on this ticket are down, and two events remain. And then, after this race, we should have just one level 2 race left, and then, once I have done that, we should be all done with level 2. And I think we'll pretty much be about a quarter of the way there with this game, more or less. So, already used the Mojave Slugger, and I've definitely used the, the Lunar Tech. So now, it's time for us to use the Mud Plugger we unlocked. The Patriot Bushwhacker. And as for the livery, well... Yeah, why not? Let's use this one. <laughs> Rock fuel. But yeah. Let's use the Bushwhacker. Mud Pluggers are the biggest of the automobiles. I thought for sure the big rigs were. Big wheels and heavy duty suspension mean they can cope with even the worst terrain. They're fast, but don't drag race a rally car. Yeah, I think I've already figured that. And I think it's also fair to say rally cars do not get around the Grizzly. That's another factor I've managed to hypothesize. Anyways, back to the mud pool we go, and we've got some ATVs with some buggies in this race. And here we go. Driving the Patriot Bushwhacker. And we have a total of 13 opponents in this race. It is now time for us to head back to the mud pool for what I think is the second time in this game. And to be completely honest, this is actually a pretty good livery for this thing. Even though this thing is clearly a pickup truck, I can still classify it still classifies as being a mud plugger anyway. And apparently the chaos and destruction is one thing I'm still struggling to stay out of. Or I could just do that. Because apparently that too, of course, would be alright. Well, without doing that, of course. Which is clearly the worst decision I could take. Yeah, at least I can say the car is not totally destroyed. Even though I'm pretty sure after this, my truck, if it has another impact, it will just destroy the whole body and chassis. Without any doubts in my mind whatsoever. So... Boosting myself to an advantage. And I literally have no engine in this thing. It literally looks like I almost have no engine. I mean, my car is literally that destroyed. It literally just looks like I can barely see the motor. That's pretty much how much damage this car basically has, more or less. But somehow it still manages to keep moving. For one reason or another. Even though this thing basically looks like shit. If I hit something again, then I'm pretty sure this thing will be destroyed. But somehow, for one way or another, I have not totally destroyed this thing. And someone just got flipped. As I saw that in my rear view, someone definitely just flipped. Somewhere right behind me.
So heading through the final corner and beginning what should be the final lap of this race. And up to this point we are doing very well considering the circumstances which I've had to do this race under where my truck is virtually destroyed yep okay yep okay now my race is fucked I had to wait until up to this point for it to happen, but I just had to fuck my race. For one reason or another, I just had to fuck it. When I almost thought for sure I was going to get away with this one stone free. And I might still get away with this one stone free if I can just keep my shit together. I won't be able to do it. If I can somehow put myself back up front. And somehow... In all magnets and miracles... I am going to pull this off. By literally the skin of my teeth in a side-by-side -side photo finish I somehow came back from that rollover and got the win. In a truck that is literally destroyed, but is somehow still drivable. Regardless of that. This is probably the most damage I can have from a single vehicle and yet still see it as being drivable somehow. Still, god damn it. I literally thought for sure that was not gonna get me to victory, but somehow, because I had the boost tank, I managed to win in a side-by-side -side finish. Still it, really, still, it really is a shame on how we don't have replays in this game. So anyways, in the end of that, I won in a side-by-side -side finish by probably a couple of thousandths ahead of Max Hollywood. Then we had Pop Johnstone or Johnston finishing in third ahead of Amrit. Then we had Nate Leonard finishing fifth and GR Jono completes the top six. Then for the rest of the finishing order we had Whistler Brown ahead of Big Shocks, Mike Long finishes 9th ahead of Greg Chan, then we had Mira Hawk ahead of General Zeg, and in 13th and last we had Napo Liam. Amidst all of the undeniable miracleness that had to be obtained from that. Okay, the game did not crash this time. Thank my fucking god it didn't. Anyways, three down, one to go for the level three events, and that's called Facelift. Coming up next.